Earlier we learned what a citizen can do. And in today's lesson, we are going to learn how when something's not right, we can stand up and fight for something peacefully. This book is called Peaceful Fights for Equal Rights. We know in our world there are some things that are really wonderful and good, but there are also things that we want to change that might not be so good. Let's see the ways that we can peacefully protest and try to change those things. As we're reading, notice the alphabet, how it goes from letter A all the way through the alphabet. And pay attention, be on the lookout for the letter M, our letter of the week. Let's start reading. Peaceful protest for equal, excuse me, peaceful fights for equal rights. I'm noticing that they're carrying signs. So one way to peacefully protest would be using signs. Assemble, take action, create allies. Assemble means come together. Make buttons, make banners, make bumper stickers too. Boycott, boycott, boycott. Wow, look at all these buttons. Look at all these banners, and they all have these symbols on them, like peace. This one says no more war. And here they're fighting for the rights of workers. Chant, cheer, call someone, campaign, camp out. I think he might be calling someone. Here's another person on the phone. Demonstrate, don't give up. Don't give in. Planet Earth first. I think they're fighting to help the planet be better and maybe um, take care of it. This one says, enough is enough, love is love and peace. Educate, encourage, endure. Be fearless, fly a flag, file a lawsuit, have faith. And there's our flag. Give time, give strength, give money if you can. Shake a hand, lend a hand, have hope, be hope. Lending a hand is helping somebody. These people are giving help to the other people that are carrying these big boxes to be delivered. Looks like they have water, they're helping each other. Letter I, inquire, inform. Imagine, invite, join others on the journey, join others in the fight. Inquire means ask questions. Knit a hat. Take a knee. Listen, learn, lead. Light a candle. Write a letter, pass laws, letter M. March, mediate, meditate, motivate, never stop. Organize, organize, organize. Parade, picket, post, persist, persevere. Persevere means never give up. Persist is also like that. Pray. Ask questions, never quit. Quietly do what's right. Read, remember, resist. I think she's reading about things that have happened in the past. That's really important to understanding how we can make today better. Stand up, speak out, sit down, sing loud, be silent. Sometimes not saying anything is really powerful. Strike. Turn up the volume. Wow, I think they're having a concert. They might be raising money or making some people aware of a cause. It looks like they're once again trying to help the earth. Unite. No matter what you look like or where you come from, you can be united with others. Vote, volunteer, keep vigil, be nonviolent, wear it, 
wave it, work for it, write about it. It looks like they're voting. They're trying to make their, their opinions heard by voting. Explain change, exemplify it, expect change. You can only do what you can do, so do it. Be zealous. It's kind of like being brave, putting yourself out there. The end. Did you notice how that book went through the whole alphabet and it started with A and then it went to M, our letter of the week, and all the way to Z. So today we're gonna practice recognizing the letter M, big M and little M. Let me show you how we're gonna do that with a maze run. You can make this at home. So to make our maze run, you need a piece of paper and you'll need a grown-up to help you with the letters. So grown-ups, you'll want to focus on one letter. Today we're doing letter M and you'll want to make the letter M start one place and end in another so that your child can connect them. I have a monkey sticker here because monkey begins with the letter M, monkey. And what would a monkey want to try to get to? I think the monkey would like some bananas. So I'm gonna use these stickers and I'm gonna put some bananas down here so when we go on our maze run, he can get to those bananas. And you don't have to use stickers. Um, you can just start with a star and end with a star. But if you have any stickers, this can be kind of fun too. Okay, so we got our stickers and a grown-up has written letters and you're gonna see what it will look like in the end. So you can use anything you have at home. So this is like a paint stick or just use a marker or crayon or these um, dot stamps are really fun too. Whatever you have that your student might have fun with. So you're gonna start at the, at the um, starting place for our maze run and we're gonna just find Oh, I'm gonna use this paint stick. You're gonna start and you're gonna lead your character, your uh, monkey on a maze to get to those bananas. So here's a letter M. We're looking for big M's and little M's. Oh, I found another one. Which way should I go? This is a F, K, M. Mm. Oh, I think I should go down. Okay, let's see. I guess my choices are D or K or mmm. Yep, we found the little m. Okay, let's see, which way should we go? Mmm, ah, eh. Okay, let's go this way. So as you can see, we're practicing identifying the letter and making the letter sounds. Mmm, ah. Those are, oh, or we could go up. So let's keep going with this way. Now I have t, k, mmm. There's that mmm sound again. Gonna go down. W, a, ah, mmm. Go down again. Okay, let's see. X, p, mmm. Let's see. Z, a, ah, mmm. There's a little m. A, ah, y, mmm. Big m. Eh or mmm. Y or mmm. Oh, we only have one way to go here. Mmm. And then we have y or mmm. I think you know where it's going. Z, mmm. Look at that. We made it. The monkey made it all the way to the bananas. Yum, 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 yum. So that was really fun. We practice identifying the letter and working on our letter sounds. Great job on the maze run. Today we learned the ABCs of peaceful protesting. And then we focused on our letter of the week, letter M, and did our maze run. And remember, you can do this with all the letters. Just have to make a maze and start at your start and identify each letter until you get to the end. That was really cool that we did that together. Before we go, I just wanna read the back of this book so you can be thinking about the ways that you can peacefully protest and make positive changes in your world because kids can do this too. 
You can shake a hand, that's welcoming somebody. You can lend a hand, that's helping someone. You can have hope, that's being positive, and you can be hope. That's you're sharing your positivity with others. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.